Today we're going to be using the Delta IV to launch a small lander to Venus. Now, it is packed with six Gem 60s, and a primary power source is this RS-68 engine. This is quite a lot of power off the pad. quickly into space. Next we're going to take a second here to correct our orbit to actually get a LEO. Kind of sloppy but we have plenty of gas and uh, we're only going to go to Venus. It's not like we're going to somewhere far 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 away. <laughs> All right so now we are going to go and figure out when's the best time to go to Venus because Earth and Venus need to line up to get this correct. And there's our transfer point. So we're going to accelerate time here. And we only need about 665 meters a second in order to leave Earth's influence and traverse to Venus. Which should probably use up most of what's remaining in the common booster core uh, first stage. I'm going to throttle down a little bit here. There we go. And now we can go and just see where we are in Venus here because we do want to plan a decent trajectory as we bring it closer to the planet. This will allow us to use less fuel once we're there to slow down because we'll slow down at the closest point to Venus. We don't want to actually enter directly. Um, we'll have way too much speed. But I'm confident 100 kilometers is probably enough. So we're going to time warp. As you see here, here's Venus. And there we are. time warp about right here and this will give us enough time to use up the rest of the common booster core which I clearly brought way too much fuel but that's okay. Part of the reason for that is that uh, these are designed for realistic mode and I'm currently playing on normal mode just to give you guys an idea what we're doing. Probably should turn the engine on and then probably warp closer to that point so we don't accidentally dip into the atmosphere. There we go. Now I'm not really familiar with uh, Venus that much. I think I've only been here twice before. So I'm not exactly sure where the best landing spot is. But it looks like we're probably going to go for the La Vina or Lavinia Planilia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But that's the rest of our common booster core. Well, that's okay. We still have the, oops, yeah, that exploded. Uh, we still have the DCSS, and this is the five meter variety. If you think this is similar to the ICPS for SLS, you wouldn't be wrong. They're actually very similar in design, make, and size. And in this game, you can actually toggle in the build screen between the two of them. At this point, we're just trying to lose as much velocity as we can. The thrust to weight, weight ratio is only 0.19. Uh, it'll eventually come to 0.2 as we use up some of the fuel. But yes, this is a, a long burn engine. And we're going to burn all the way to the atmosphere, mainly because I don't know if this heavy object, because this actually is quite heavy and a little bit lopsided, is going to do in Venus's atmosphere. Venus's atmosphere is significantly thicker than Earth's and the gravity is pretty comparable. I think it's 85% of Earth normal. So we're getting pretty close to that uh, point. So we're going to turn the engine off. We're going to eject the uh, lander and we're going to uh, see if we can land it on Venus. 
and not crash into the spacecraft because I've had that problem before. Spacecraft picks up and it gets slammed back into the lander, which is why it's always important to detach from your launch vehicle before you hit the atmosphere. Now, if you think this lander is absolutely the worst looking thing in the world, I do have a lander contest going on on the Discord server right now where you can submit a design and I will design any custom modifications required for it if you win. I think that's a pretty cool contest as we quickly burn up here. Just do the chutes and we're going to bring out the landing gear and this should slow us down enough to land softly on Venus and then we'll find out how rocky a planet I ended up picking for this uh, lander passing through some clouds That's the sound of a rocket hitting the ground. Awesome, so we're down to under five meters. So we're gonna land pretty nicely, but yeah, Venus is a very hilly place. So there we go. Boom, mission accomplished. Let me know where you want me to fly to next and what rocket you'd like me to uh, send it with in the comments. And if you do think you can make a better lander, Check out the Discord server contest happening right now when I post this video. Maybe not when you watch it, but when I post it.